Pisces. Treat me nice, please. What's going on, my dears? It is Mira, it is Shira, it is Vira, it is Scorpion Red Tarot. I am back at it again for the happy, 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 happy new year, <laughs> 2021, January reading. How are you guys doing? I hope that you guys have been enjoying yourself thus far within 2021. Uh, listen, we're going to leave a whole bunch of stuff in 2020 that needs to be there, and we're going to have a whole bunch of fun and feel fun, fulfilled, and blessed in this season. In the name of Jesus, amen. Let's claim it, all right? So, Pisces, thank you so much for clicking this video. Thank you so much to all my OGs. Thank you to all my newbies for like, sharing, and subscribing to this video or any one of my videos in the past, present, or future. Let's call it in the future, people. All right, hello, hello, hello. How you doing? How you doing? So, listen. Ah, uh, Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Um, I want to give a lot of thanks. I want to just appreciate you guys and give you your flowers now because, like, you guys have really, really showed up and showed out, especially at the tail end of 2020. We got a lot of new decks here. Um, we're going to be using the Edgar Allan Poe Tarot and um, a playing card deck, and um, we got a whole bunch of other new decks and equipment and things that just came in. So I'm just so blessed, and I'm just so thankful for you know you guys loving me and all of the love that y'all put around me because I surely put it around you guys. So I just want to give you guys thanks. Um, if there's anyone that would like to reach out to me for a personal and private reading, go ahead and click the description box of this video or click the about tab on my YouTube page. It gives you the pricing list. You can connect with me on Instagram Messenger if you don't have Instagram just shoot me an email at scorpionreds at gmail.com I'll get you all you know connected on Google Hangouts for the video reading the only information we need to exchange through Google Hangouts is email so it's very very easy all right so again um, if anyone would like to connect with me go ahead again message me on Instagram which is email me at scorpionreds at gmail.com if these videos resonate with you if you want to send a little love to the page you can go ahead and check out the various links in my description box or my about tab uh, that gives you information about how to spread love to the channel all right so let's uh give god thanks let's give the creator acknowledgement before we do anything here so bow your heads with me father god i want to thank you so much for just giving us the blessed just free air and just clarity and just <sighs> positive vibration father god um the seasons are changing a lot of things are just going dormant right now and we're just in this spirit of just like relaxation and just you know getting within our inner mind and just seeking inner clarity and things and just thinking about the seeds that we're trying to plant and what we're trying to create in the spring season in the name of Jesus hello so father God you know we're just being real nice and pleasant to ourselves we eating a lot of good good food thank you so much for all of the blessed just abundance that you provide for us on a day-to-day -day basis and we thank you so much for all of the blessed abundance that you have yet to provide that is on our path father god uh we realize that you know we ain't trying to make an asshole of ourselves anymore in the name of jesus you know so we're stepping out of our way and we are really lining ourselves up we're lining our table up with a lot of beautiful fixings with a lot of new blessings a lot of new creations father god we're just lining this table up father god and we just want to be thoroughly fulfilled and we're going to be thoroughly fulfilled in 2021 father god excuse me so we're just going to um stay focused father god and again um allow us to continue to keep ourselves in line and you know just stay focused again and just keep us ourselves aligned and help us stay out of our way in the name of jesus uh give us the guidance that we need for pisces for january 2021 father god we're here to have fun and celebrate in this season amen amen all right so let's get into this pisces this is the edgar Allan poe So let's get three cards for my Pisces for January. Ooh. All right. Two more. All right. Give me three cards for Pisces for January. Thank you so much. Oh, 
Oh, the Ten of Swords. All right, we got the Hierophant, the Queen of Wands. Ooh, and the Devil in the name of Jesus. Okay. <laughs> you guys are definitely trying to release yourself from a goddamn nightmare. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Pisces, 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 Pisces. There's a lot going on in this house. There's some type of like engagement, some type of commitment, some type of standard of rules that you've committed yourself to that it's like I just feel like the house has just like bad energy, whatever the household, the structure the organization like for like the queen of wands this is a, a Aries Sagittarius Leo female energy right here with the devil um, it's like a frustration of you know everything right here is going to end out bad you know everything is just laced with negative energy like serious I, I, I really do feel like you feel haunted you feel like you cannot break away you it's like I don't know it's like someone's like entrapped or plagued your mind with certain things it's like um, it's like you mentally can't get away it's like you mentally uh, keep feeding yourself to you know the unpleasanties of this situation it's like a temporary fix but a long time sensation of just like Oh, oh, I was saying like a nagging envy, deception, just like uh, a traitor, false character. It's, it's like manipulation, um, emotional abuse. I, I don't really see the physical abuse, but I want to say sometimes physical abuse, but not like on a like real serious level. It may be like a pushing or shoving or just something like that, but it's just like a very toxic situation with like a... Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius woman here, like seriously. Um, it's an ill-fitted marriage, that's what it's saying. I don't even feel like, it's like could have been a spiritual marriage or something. It's like a haunting you. I don't even think that it's like um, a typical marriage where someone would have, um, it's like some type of negative soul ties or some shit like that. It's definitely like not like someone went to the court or something it's like some type of uh ancient spiritual ritual or something i don't know like because you know some people be doing those like little spiritual marriage ceremony things like in the house type of thing like <laughs> y'all why well, it's like i feel like this house is haunted it's like this it's like it's like i don't even want to go in there it's like a nightmare on elm street or something it's like bad memories uh something i want to say it's like someone wants to get away from but it's like they they can't it's like they're tied they're tied to this woman and it's like even like um a sexual type of thing where it's like you can't get her off of you you can't get her off of your mind you can't get her off of your body you can't get her off of your spirit you know what i'm saying like this woman may like to argue a lot like to fight or just like you may feel like this woman is running around a lot like the the, the devil with the <laughs> with the queen of wands like you feel like this woman is promiscuous like she may be lying to you about something and excuse me y'all because my my daughter is practicing her flute so let's clarify this goodness gracious it's just like a lot going on in this house again that I feel like a lot of people don't know about as well it's like a lot of arguing may come out of this house like you may hear the arguing so loud like the neighbors can hear it as well and again it's like you're tied to the situation Mm. oh they just said it's going to be like some type of negative consequences like it may be something going on in your mind like it may be some negative consequences if you try to leave this situation like this is a spiritual marriage this is a spiritual connection or something like that and it's like I don't like this I don't like this Pisces this is the seven of clubs so it's like you're hard working, you're 
right now you're hard working you're a hard worker it's like you may be putting in overtime you're like overkill like you know probably trying to i don't know like to avoid this situation or try to go to this house you may be trying to tell someone like you're always working or doing something because the the five of the five of diamonds represents like karma consequences what goes up what is what comes down you know so you know it's like you don't want to find yourself destitute in the situation is what like God is trying to tell me. It's like you are doing everything that you got to do. So it's like you don't have to go back to this home so that you can send money, whatever your obligation. You could do it without having to like closely engage with this situation. Like, you know, it's bad energy. Like, you know, it's bad energy right here. Like, man, this this is not good, bro. Not good. Give me one more. What is this? The four of clubs. So the four of clubs is a good working situation. Like um, someone could have found a new job. Um, like to me, this is like a new job, something that's more fitting for you, where it's just like all around the board. Like you're able to communicate. You're able to show your skills. You're able to learn some new skills. Um, you can fluctuate up, down and around however you want to. You know what I'm saying? Like you know how to work all positions or something like that. Like, I want to, it's like a floater or a rotator or something. Like, you may work at this site for a few days and go work at this site doing something for another day. Like, I don't know why I'm feeling like someone in the medical field or something. It's like, you may go and do some, um, I'm saying like some type of medical research on something. And then it's like, I don't know why I'm seeing like paperwork or something, some type of medical studies or something like that. It's like the home body, the home, like health. I, I feel like someone's in school for like health and maybe doing like some homeschooling or something like that. And they may have like secured them a job, um, doing some type of medical research or, um, bookkeeping or um what am I getting here uh, uh medical records or something like that something like that it's like whatever this person is doing it's like they're working very very hard they're working as hard as they can to like get the outcome of like a successful lifestyle by themselves like they already understand what this five of diamonds here like once you put out you get back you know so like this may be um again i feel like someone is doing some type of have a computer work computer studies or something like that let me look up the five of diamonds real quick you guys let me look up the five of diamonds five of diamonds represents karma patterns okay karma patterns cause and effect Magnetic attraction, law of attraction, thoughts that create experiences, charisma, animal magnetism, ma <laughs> animal magnetic, I can't say it, sexuality, personal space, local area, home, possessions, property, speak, the act of speaking, of speaking, an argument, a legal judgment or court case, the city life, okay, so, the seven of clubs represents, let me just show y'all real quick. Wait, the four of clubs represents stability in business matters, reliable social contracts and contacts, practical foundations, stable conditions, laying a foundation for the future, for progress, stable business environment, using good business sense, the four walls of a business or, or building or room. The four legs of the table, um, a work table, a social table, a four-wheel vehicle, a coach, a car, a truck, um, a baby carriage, a trip by a car, verbal communication, telephone, voice message, audio, video, chat. The seven means increase of activity or change in business or social situation, physical or mental effort, including yard work, housework home repairs, even fixing the car, attention to detail, 
carefully evaluating the situation before making a decision or taking action, keeping busy, the risk of work overload, the need to rest and relax, preoccupied with work. This card is the card of a workaholic, negotiating, disagreements, an argument, or feelings of restlessness, discomfort, taking on too much, making the best of a difficult situation. So, again, like this is someone that's, again, thinking about cause and effect, their own personal stability, putting in the work, a lot of communication here. Each one of these cards had something to do with some type of verbal communication, like back and forth, back and forth about something. And again, it has something to do with obligations with this home foundation in this home. It's like, again, it's like Nightmare on Elm Street. It's like, wherever this home is that it is that you have to visit, you have some type of obligations. It's like, you, damn, isn't it saying? It's like, you feel like it's a pitfall. It's like, you feel like you're... It's like you're constantly going to lose every time that you walk into this situation because it may seem good in the beginning, but it's all bad. It's all bad. It's all bad. You know, it's like I'm tired of arguing with this person. It's like I don't want to argue with this person. It's kind of like I wish that this person would just let me handle my responsibilities and leave me alone. You know, like, stop trying to dig up old skeleton while argue about old bullshit. It's like, I don't even believe in that shit anymore. It's like, whatever your faith was in the beginning, whatever y'all believed in, whatever y'all... Again, because you see the Hierophant right here, it's like, whatever it was that you guys believed... Whatever this person believed this relationship was or whatever it was, it's fictional. It was bullshit. It was like, you playing with my mind, you... You tricked me, you like alluded me to think that you were this person and you were a complete different opposite. You know what I'm saying? It's like I would have never got married to you or I never got committed to you. You know, it's like, mm. Mm. they're saying something about like a substance abuse victim or something. It's like some type of, they're saying like substance, like a substance can also be like a ups, someone obsessing over power as well. Because like with these cards here, it's like some type of power or control. And it's like someone willing to, you know, you would say anything to like, because these are like thoughts. This is, you know. Like a scare tactic or, uh, you know, I feel like it's someone struggling with their own belief system from what they think is right. You know what I'm saying? Like continuing to struggle and live in this nightmare and, and because it's right, because I have this obligation, regardless of how miserable I am. <laughs> uh, it's, Give me guidance here, please, for Pisces. I don't like this. We're not starting a new year off like this. What is this? Cards. Fate. And y'all, y'all, it's like y'all are looking into the cards just like see what your destiny is with your fate is because it's like I feel like some of don't really know what to do about this situation. Again, the key. So the key is like when you look at Carter Mancy, I mean not Carter Mancy, like um Lenormand, it's like someone having a choice. Again, it's like this person has a choice at this time yet again and that's why I feel like someone is looking at their cards looking at fate like you know again it's like oracle seeking like you're looking into like the spiritual world to like help you figure out what to do because it's like if I unlock this door again I don't know why it's like someone feeling pressured or it's like some type of mental or spiritual pull on someone to feel like pressured and alluded to like opening up this door again and again I feel like it's some type of fantasy it's going to be like it was before it's like it's going to be good for a couple weeks you're going to go into it it's going to be a complete fucking nightmare that you're going to have to claw your way back out of this shit again you know what I'm saying it's like being trapped like someone like a codependency someone not trying to let you go and it's like Someone feels like their fate is destitute to be stuck in this situation to deal with this. And 
gosh. It's like I'm trying to work it out. I'm trying to do. Look, the snake forbidden. Please listen. I'm trying to tell you. And I really do feel like someone may be dealing with some type of forbidden art to be doing some type of shit. And just be into like the occult in a negative way. You know what I'm saying? Especially with that devil card there. It's like, it could be like some type of spells or some type of, and I hate having to tell y'all this, but it's like reality. Don't act like motherfuckers do it. Like that shit, like they not make, make it as though as that shit is cool right now. Like, oh, you, you're someone that you love is not in love with you no more. So, oh, well, here's this spell and you can light this candle and you could do this or you could pray to this deity and they're going to help you get your man back or get your woman back. Like that shit ain't cool, y'all. Yeah? That shit is not cool. It's not cool at all. What is this? The spider. I'm trying... I'm not even about to play with y'all with that. Only thing I can say, I don't even have to tell you to protect yourself because, listen, what goes up comes down. That's why you're doing what you're supposed to do to protect yourself and keep yourself stable. You already see the negative karmic patterns as it as what is in this home and where this is going to lead you. And you know this just like temptation. You know that this person is trying to tempt you again with this bullshit. And again, it's like it's something about this person's behavior with this queen of, of wands, with this devil and this spider web and the snake. Yeah, oh my goodness. Like, let me try to tell you something. It's like this, this whoever this girl is right here. <laughs> I don't even think I need to tell you, baby. You should. If you don't feel that, I don't even know what to tell you. I don't know if this is like your baby mother or something like that. But it's like this woman got issues. She got power. It's like she got issues. And do what you got to do for your kids to make sure shit's stable. But again, like this key, I feel like this is your own home. Because remember, it's like this is someone working as hard as they can to get their own thing they want their own stability their own situation they listen oh i gotta read this it says i am above the weakness of seeking to establish a sequence of cause and effect between the disaster and the atrocity I don't know if y'all understand what that's saying, but, but basically it's like I'm above seek. I'm above the weakness of seeking to establish the sequence of cause and effect because it's like I've been working so hard to remember this whole car is about cause and effect. It is about pat patterns. It is about sexuality and your attraction and your animal magnet magnetism or all of that stuff like that like your own deep urges and things like that and then with this devil card that is it does have a lot to do with certain things like that so it's like it's certain things that maybe this person does sexually that other people won't do or won't let you do or it you know it's something there that i feel like it's like some type of pull or it's like some type of sensation or some type of sensation that I feel like you don't get somewhere else. Um, it's something hidden. Something, you know what I'm saying? I'm so sorry. I did not know that my daughter was about to go start doing her little flute stuff right now. Child, this is a lot. I'm not about to read all of this. I'm so sorry, y'all, because I'm not redoing this video. Because <laughs> this is, like, too much. Like, I, this, 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 this has to come out. And I'm so sorry that we starting off the new year with this. But, like, this is crazy. What is this? The star in the reverse. So, like, don't lose your faith. Like, whoever this energy is right here with this star, I don't know if this is the Pisces doing this to somebody or if this is, like, this, again, this... Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, female doing this. Like, this is some type of, I don't know. Or this is, like, some type of woman here that's, like, trapped and addicted to, like, this negative energy that's in this household or something. And it's like someone's trying to work their way out. You could be upset. 
Um, but it's, again, you could be obsessed with the situation. Like, this is still, like, obsession. Like, you know what I'm saying? Still feeling, like, trapped and obligated to be committed here in this toxic bullshit here. And it's like... And again, someone is, like, keeping someone spun up in some shit. Keeping someone spun up. And it's, again, it's like someone... I clearly we're doing cards right here, but it's like someone could be looking into the cards on you or but because it, it could be like some type of control or something trying to understand what someone is doing, what the fate is of the situation. But it's like there could be some obsession or something behind it. You know what I'm saying? It's like not in a positive way. The snake is like the other person. You know what I'm saying? So like. And the norm and the snake is the other person, baby. So it's like, or it's the person with the low vibrational energy. So it's like the star in the reverse. It's like with this, with me, read, uh, basically what I'm getting is like this person is like has a lack of faith. Like there's a lack of possibility. There's a lack of hope. Like this person doesn't have like a belief system or something like that. Like there's some level of falling somebody because I gotta read it from who from this Queen of Wands situation, whoever this is right here. Like there's there's two situations that I could read it. It's either the woman that's going through this shit and she's going through all this crazy shit in this household and she's trying to see her way out that there's another woman and there's like all this treachery and and abuse and just like, you know, uh mental torment going on in this house and she may be looking to the cards in the oracle to like you know to unlock her future to try to figure a way out of it but yet there's still some level of obsession and addiction because you're not leaving you're it's like you're feeding it you know but at the same time you've lost hope and then there's another situation of some woman that's promis that's promiscuous i feel like she could possibly be into some type of witchcraft or like hoodoo voodoo so some, uh, some type of bullshit like some negative power thing here you know what i'm saying and whoever the person is that is dealing with her is looking into the oracles because they're working like shit to like separate their self you know what i'm saying they're trying to separate their self because they feel like it's a fall from grace like i don't know how i got mixed up in this situation like i really regret this bullshit i don't want to go back to this home like i already know to me it's over it's destroyed like the foundation is already laced with negativity and bullshit you know um you know i i'm trying to re regain my faith the more and more that i feed this situation i am not living my life purpose because the star is about purpose it's about your purpose like god didn't make god didn't agree with this shit god didn't set me up for this shit like this has nothing to do with my life purpose and what i'm trying to do like i i no. So this is like a fall from grace. It's like, if I continue to do this, it's me showing that I don't love myself too much. You know what I'm saying? And I'm really not thinking about unlocking my fate and my true purpose and things like that. Because it's like the oracle cards may be telling me that this is what this person is doing. This person is negative. This is toxic. This is drama. This person is trying to weave you in. It's like, again, like a spider, you know, trying to weave a web to like lure you in so you get stuck and it can, you know, like have their way with you the snake like come on bruh like come on and you're a hard working individual like don't continue to like feed yourself to the fucking devil like i'm so sorry like this person is ready for this but and again whoever this woman is but if, if this is a male going through this it's like you don't trust this person like you feel like this person is sleeping with someone else or just promiscuous or something what is this the ace of swords a mental breakthrough all right it's like you see the truth you like you are clear you know what it is that you need to do like you know that you are not on your path right now and you need to be focused on your path child you got the six of swords right here you better move the fuck on didn't i tell you this is someone like working hard trying to get the hell out of a situation what is this the knight of cups in the reverse someone's falling out of love they, it's like they're tired of chasing. I don't want to chase you no more. Ooh, you got the seven of swords and the moon. Ooh, child, I told you there's some type of sneaky deception type of thing. And it's like your 
intuition is it's you know i don't mean to say this but whoever this broad is is a hoe like this bitch is like she want to have you and it's like she be doing other shit or it's something that you don't know about bruh especially if this is a man it's something that you do not know about and the reason why i'm reading this and uh as this is as this this is an energy for a man to be reading this is because the energy of this woman right here you know what i'm saying that's the way it's coming off to me and again, don't take it personal. But if the shoe fits, y'all you gonna wear it. I can y'all gonna wear it down in the comments, and you can always tell the hit dogs, <laughs> cause they always go down in the comments and act like I'm talking about them. Like no, you know. So listen, I'm so serious. Like this has to do with a male energy that has to do with a woman that is trying to not let them go, that's trying to control them in some type of way. Like this man sees clearly, like. I've taken a fall of grace. I need to let this go. Like, I truly don't even love this person no more. I don't love this situation. I'm trying to love myself, but it's like I feel some type of pull here. I feel like I can't let this go. You hear the damn birds outside? You hear the goddamn, um... I'm sorry, y'all. It's like... It's like, especially with that moon right there, a lot of times when you see the moon card, I, I, I always think of crows sometimes because, and again, I feel like you need to be secretive about the way that you move because it's like your intuition is telling you, it's like, remember we're saying animal magnet, magnetism, it's like your, your, uh, animal guide your spirit guide or something like that it's like it's calling to you it's trying to send you some type of messages but at the same time trying to tell you be quiet like don't expose everything that you know or everything that you think you know what i'm saying because it's like why are they trying to sell they're trying to say something about this damn word it will beseech you and this is not my fucking language i don't say shit like beseech you i've never even really heard of that shit but it's like be quiet like especially about what you're trying to do it's like you trying to especially it's if you if you're about to get like a a new place a new environment a new residence or something please be quiet about it Please be a little antisocial. Don't be opening up your mouth because it's something about this woman. You don't know who she fucking with. You don't know who the fuck she's fucking with. I don't know if this person be engaging with your friends or your colleagues. I don't trust this woman, bruh. Like, I don't trust her. I feel like you have to be like very sneaky, very like, you know... You got to pay attention as well. It's like something is going on. You're quickly more and more every day falling out of love. Feeling restless. Feeling like you don't want to continue to put yourself in a situation. You're working hard. You definitely look into the cards and to the oracles. Because you're not trying to continue to open Pandora's box. And it's like <laughs> it's something about this side over here. I'm not fucking with this side over here, bruh. I'm strongly getting that. Let me go to my rooms and then we about to get up out of here, man. I'm seriously trying to tell you to don't trust this individual. Like, oh, this, oh. I don't want to say that, man. Mm -mm. Oh, they saying nothing. Ooh, but I see it's like again again so it's like so I don't know if you can see this but it's like nothing it's like literally nothing fell out but I can the things that I can see right here this this means um like exposure damage you know what I'm saying like you know like this is really trying to tell you, and it really means, like, to ward off evil, like, something being in jeopardy, like, you needing to, like, have support to shield yourself, defense, you know, um, like, your guardian, you know, um, it can mean, like, 
envy or something, you know, but at the same time, it does mean, it's like, it's like trying to protect you, it's trying to, it's like which someone doesn't see, what someone does not see is like, you need to protect yourself, you need to cleanse yourself, I don't know what type of connection, what type of, I, cause even like this, um, this group or some shit, I don't know what the fuck it is, but it's just like not good energy. I don't know what the fuck it is and what be going on in this house or what the fuck y'all be chanting and be talking. I don't know what the fuck motherfuckers be doing, bruh. But it ain't no cool shit. It's not no cool shit. And like whoever's on the receiving end of this shit, you need to protect yourself. Um, and again, like this, this also means like connection with the gods. You know what I'm saying? Like you having a powerful connection with God with your with who you feel is the creator you know what i'm saying to me only person i witness and i know about is god you know what i'm saying that's the only person and that's the only power that i need because i don't give a fuck who do these hoodoo voodoo chants whatever the fuck this bullshit is whatever the fuck this bullshit is because i'm gonna keep it 100 someone over here on some wild ass shit it's some real wild ass energy over here and i definitely see someone trying to get away from this shit and trying to protect yourself from it and i really want to tell you to be quiet do not tell and do not expose yourself you understand be careful to who the fuck you talking to you never know who this person's ally um allies are because you never know who this person is sleeping with like on god like for real you you don't know who this girl sleeping with It's very heavy level side bitch energy over here. And I don't know if this bitch is being a side bitch for you or you just don't. I just wouldn't trust this woman. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. And then this is right here. And you can't see this as well. Like, this means like direction. It means travel. It means partnership, movement. You know, trust, loyalty. Like, it taken to change for the better. Teamwork, harmony, and things like this. Joint effort and things like that. So, it's like... You need to continue to be on your search for self-empowerment and things like that. I, I feel, again, with this Hierophant card here, it's like, this is someone being included in, like, group activity, partnership, or something like, someone being committed and doing something as a pair together, you know. Um, I, I want to say it's like, you need to protect yourself. Because, again, I feel like it's going to be a night fucking mare. You need to... Because, and again, it's like, you're going to put yourself in... Like, this is what you don't see. Like, this partnership, you know, you moving this, in this di direction, this, you know... Trying to find peace and harmony and, and thinking things is going to constantly change for the better. And it's better if it's two people in this household or whatever. No, it's not, bruh. Because sometimes, like, if it's going to be toxic and if it's going to be a environment like this, you better off getting your own shit. And this is what someone doesn't see here. You know what I'm saying? But I'm seeing that this person is believing in their self because they realize it's like... I really don't have any faith or belief system in this shit anymore. What I did believe and what I committed myself to in the beginning is like I'm slowly like or I'm feeling like I'm falling in from grace. I'm feeling like I'm not able to like uphold the commitment. You know, so it's like I don't know if this person is nagging on you, ragging on you, making you feel like you ain't shit or you ain't doing shit, but it's like with this ace of swords, it's like you taking a mask off. It's like, I see. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, true vision, clarity. You know? And it's like, I almost like don't even need God or, uh, it's like, I, I don't even need the runes or the cards to really tell me this time. It's like, spiritually, I know. Like, that's why. I've been trying to change my common patterns and I've been working so hard and I've been trying to change my existence. But please don't let nobody know that this is what you're doing. Don't let nobody know what you're doing. You, I'm trying to tell you, you don't know who the fuck this person is sleeping with. I don't know why I feel like I need to tell you that. Ooh. 
Oh, and then look at look at this girl's picture in the upright. Look at her picture, y'all. Do y'all see this shit? Like this woman is like dangerous or something. Like what well, she thinks she's dangerous. Child, listen, bye. I ain't got to do. I love y'all. Y'all love y'all self. <laughs> and then listen, then this just fell out. This means sacrifice. Sacrifice meets the reward, tenacity, discipline, lesson learned, okay? A tenacity towards change. What else this means? It means uh, protection by defending yourself. It says the God of thunder. It means caution, the strong one, resistance. It means the government, societies. I told y'all some type of group or something. Like, don't tell nobody whatever group this is or whatever the fuck this is. Like, this little society, this group. Do not tell. Do not tell motherfuckers about what you're doing, bruh. I'm trying to tell you. Again, this means um, force is bigger than you. It means discipline. It means suffering as well. It means reward through challenges. Sacrifice. A lesson learned. Reactive force. A defense against adversities. It means resisting unwanted conflict. Protecting yourself with violence. <laughs> Like having to stand up for yourself, like having to spiritually protect yourself, like having to like, nah, like you're not going to push me around. You're not going, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like really defending your fucking self, you know, it means doing something in a passive manner. Remember, I was trying to tell you, like, it's like you're busy, you're doing something because your intuition is telling you to do something, but it's like you're being quiet about it. It's like you're, you're trying to, you're being sneaky about it. You're tipping around. It's like you might be slowly moving your shit away or slowly doing shit differently where it's like they can barely tell, but you know what you're doing behind someone's back to like get away. Because remember, I told you this is someone. It's like I don't love this person no more. Listen, tranquility ahead. Like this person can't even see what I'm doing, but it's like, again, this could be conflict it means purging cleansed by the fire it means chaos destruction <laughs> mental or physical stress like that forces change strengthening character this is like you had to go through this to i was like learn about this group learn about this society learn about these people it's like having to protect yourself warding off bad shit remember i told you the other shit I mean it's like you may not have seen this shit, but it's like you need to ward off these people. Like these people is bad business, it's bad energy, it's a bad connection. It's like bad shit that be going on in this house, bad practices, bad something. I'm not fucking with it and I don't want y'all to fuck with it no more. So listen to what I'm trying to say. Like listen to what God is trying to tell you. Like this, you know, like certain people it's just not fucking worth it. Hello? I gotta go. Pisces, I love you. Pisces, treat me nice, please. We out.